What's up guys, Enos here again, bringing you guys another Black Ops 3 video. I'm back, baby. I am back, and I am better than ever. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, took a vacation, and uh, I was gone for about a week, but it's all good. Rogue Bludger covered for me, I believe, on most, if not all, the days, and I do appreciate that. That's much, much helpful. Much helpful. That didn't make any sense. That was greatly helpful. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the videos. I honestly have not got to watch them yet because my hotel's internet was so bad. Stay at the same hotel we did last year when we went down to the uh, to the beach area that we were at on the second half of our trip, and uh, it did, the Wi-Fi was just not great this year. It was terrible. I, I couldn't hardly. I tried to load a video and I was loading at 144p, which is the lowest setting YouTube has, so that didn't quite work out. But I'm back now, so I can get back on the grind, start uploading again, and all that good stuff. Got a few great gameplays before I left, so I'll upload them this week probably. But I figured I'd just give you guys a rundown of what's been going on lately. Uh, number one, I got a set of Astro A50s. Got them refurbed from eBay. They were manufactured refurbished. Um, bought them from a seller that had all kinds of good electronic stuff. And they have worked great. Those things are fantastic. I love them. Great. And I can use them to record live comps and stuff, so I don't have to have this big mic in front of them and have to lean into it all the time. But it's just not quite as good a sound quality, so I probably won't do that. But I can do it if I so choose, I suppose. Um... Sound quality is great, and I love the fact that they're wireless. A lot of people go over to the A40s. I, <clears throat> excuse me. Me, personally, I like wireless stuff, and wireless trumps the slightly better sound quality in my mind. I mean, they already sound fantastic, so it's not like I'm really losing much. But besides that, I also got new internet right before I left to go on my trip because my internet service provider sucks. My internet was dropping download speeds like crazy. My ping was shooting to the roof. There's at one point where my download speed was 0.14 megabytes. That's just unacceptable. And, uh, I mean, I know I didn't have great internet to start with. I only had an 8 megabyte download because I had a regional provider that basically has a region lock on this area. So, that was about all I could get. Um, but I switched to the one other provider that I can get. And I got 20 megabyte upload or download now. So, a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's worked much better. I had it for about a week before I left, and I'm playing right now on... I've actually got PlayStation pulled up right now. I've been playing, getting the daily contract done, and uh, it's been working fantastically, so can't complain. But moving on to the trip that I took, we went to two different places. Um, we stayed three nights in a cabin in Tennessee, and, uh, and then we took a trip down to the beach to Wilmington, where I went last year on my honeymoon. The, the trip I took to Tennessee, the first day, we didn't really do a whole lot when we got there because it was kind of late in the evening. We went and watched a movie. Uh, went and watched Counterintelligence, which was pretty good. I won't lie. It was pretty good. It was funny. Um, it had a little bit of language in it, but for the most part, it wasn't too bad. That and the fact that it had... Uh, I know a lot of people don't consider this nudity, but it showed The Rock's butt like two or three times. I'm not a fan of that. To me, that's just the same. They're just nudity. I, I'm not a fan of that. So I probably wouldn't go watch it again, but the movie itself, the plot and everything wasn't too bad. Uh, second day, we tried to go to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge was not bad. It was actually pretty easy to get through and things. But Gatlinburg, it was July 3rd when I went. I didn't realize they were having a midnight parade down there, so there was like 50,000 people in that little tiny six-mile strip of nothingness. Nothing but a tourist trap, but it is what it is. It took me like an hour and a half to go about three miles down the road. It was terrible. But did go, I went to the Ripley's Auditorium, I think it's what it's called. ODD Auditorium. Um, it was kind of cool. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it was rather crowded in there. Um, but it still wasn't bad. Then, uh, let's see, what did we do? The next day, the last day we were in Tennessee, which was Monday, July 4th, went to the Knoxville Zoo. Got to see all kinds of cool things. Got to see some bears, some tigers, some lions and things. If anybody ever wants to know. My favorite animal is the white tiger. Unfortunately, they did not have those, but I have been to a zoo that has, and those things are gorgeous. Man, I love those things. They're such cool animals. They look cool, and they're ferocious, and they just they look like a big ball of fur. You just want to go up and give a big hug, but it'll kill you if you do. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> but I went to the zoo, got to see all kinds of cool stuff. That was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of hot, but it wasn't bad. Um, it was bearable. And I actually really enjoyed that. It was just me and my wife. We were the only two that went on the trip. It was fantastic. Uh, the next, oh, that night we went to, I met up with my grandpa, or my, my grandma, my uncle, and his wife and kids. And we, we all went to watch the fireworks in Johnson City, and we ended up getting rained on. 
just long enough for it to stop raining about the time the fireworks were going to start. So we had like an hour and a half between the time I got rained on and the time I got back to the cabin to change clothes where I was just soaking wet. And me personally, like one of the biggest things in the world that I hate is being wet with clothes on. I hate that. But still, had a good time. I mean, there, there's really no point in this trip where I just did not have a good time. Um, then we went down to Wilmington, went to uh, went down there to go to the beaches and things. And we... <laughs> First day we're down there, right? The first day, I think we just uh, we got some pizza, just kind of hung out a little bit. Second day, we decided to go to the beach. Second, for the first full day, anyway. July 5th. The uh, 6th? It was Wednesday, whatever day that was. The 6th. Or, I think it was the 6th. Went to the beach, right? So I get to the beach, take all the crap out of my pockets, take my Crocs off, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, lather up my sunscreen real good, because I'm... A pale white boy now that I work third shift. I hardly ever see the sunlight unless I'm out doing yard work. Uh, so I lather up my sunscreen and start walking to uh, to go to the water. And I get in the water. I'm there for like a good 20 minutes before I finally realized that my phone was still in my pocket. So my Droid Turbo got absolutely just fried. There was no hope for that thing. I tried to dry it out. I did all that good stuff. It just wasn't... Nothing, nothing was springing that thing back. It was fried. The only thing that happens now is there's a little green light where the camera is at that just shoots, uh, or that constantly stays on. And it doesn't do anything else. So I lost all my apps, or like all my data on my apps and things. I lost, I don't back my crap up, so don't even, I know I should, but I don't back my stuff up. So I lost some pictures, like pictures from the honeymoon and stuff. I lost that. I lost all kinds of stuff. But that's not... I generally don't do things like that to endanger the, you know, the well-being of my electronic devices. But mistakes were made. So I spent the next, like, two hours getting a new phone at Verizon because it was going to be cheaper in the long run to get a new one than to use my insurance and get the same one back. So I just went ahead and got a new one. And um, got the Droid Turbo 2. I really like it so far. It's been a great phone. Shoots in 4K, 30 frames per second on the camera, so that's always good. And uh, the next day we went and played mini golf and uh, hit the beach again. We went to the beach one night and just kind of chilled out until it was getting ready to start raining. And, uh, yeah, had a good time. Beat my wife in mini golf again. Two-time champion. My trophy was some Krispy Kreme donuts. If you, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see those pictures. Follow us on Twitter. Oh, as well, it's in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'm back. I'll be hitting up the content again. Check out the other videos on the channel if you really like them. Subscribe and tell all your friends so they can subscribe to 49 and 10 Gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Peace.